product. It's called Chum Puck. And this will be the first of uh, probably what's going to be very many face-to-face uh, -face combat between the Chum Puck and the leading competitor. Okay, so we are now going to take the two products, Chum Puck and the leading competitor. We're going to drop them both in at the same time and we're going to start the timer and then we'll start talking about the product. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, both are dropped. Timer started. One thing that's definitely noticeable is the larger bubbles coming out of Chum Puck right now. Yes. On the right with the competitor, we have Fizz and we have Sparkles. On the left in our Chum Puck, we have much larger bubbles. You know what that's going to do, Darren? I know exactly what that's going to do. That's going to mimic bait fish right there. That looks like bait fish and it also creates a lower frequency in the water, the vibration that the fish are going to sense through their lateral line. In creating this product, we use the competitor's product. We saw all the competitor's videos. We heard all the stories about it and thought, you know what? In theory, this is a good idea. It could work. So we tried it. And I'm not going to say whether it worked or not, but we, we kind of decided, you know what? It's good in theory, but we think they're doing it wrong. Okay? They tend to base their product on scent as the major component that's going to draw in the fish and when it comes to fish the ones that rely on scent for hunting are the bottom feeders which are catfish sturgeon and alike mostly we're not fishing for them we're fishing for predators predator fish like bass walleye pike muskie perch crappie they rely mainly on sight and lateral line. And lateral line, the movement of fish through the water. That's how they, I guess you would call it technically here. Uh, so we were out to make a product that created bigger bubbles that would give a bigger vibration through the water so that the fish could sense it. And also give them the visual. And the product on the right, the leading competitor, uh, as you'll see with the timer, I think it's probably going to fizz at around six minutes. Uh, I believe that this latest recipe of Chempuk is lasting approximately 40 minutes. I tell you one thing that I'm noticing right off the top right now, that they use a lot of glitter and sparkles in their product to attract fish via sight. But if you actually look into that container right now on the right, you will see nothing but cloudy nothingness right now yep. because if you're a fish you cannot see anything all you see is a little bit of glitter here or there maybe yep. if you look to the left you could see chum puck you could see the large bubbles going up wiggling and waggling I tell you my money's with chum puck <laughs> my money's with chum puck wiggling and waggling Thank well look you can see it it's yep. the 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 leading competitor is pretty much almost done it's showing its signs of uh, age let's just leave it at that yeah if you can see anything on this camera right now. Chum Puck still going strong, making those bubbles that are visually attractive and vibrationally attractive. Creating your words here, wiggle waggle and vibrationally. Yes. I like that. Over under 20 minutes right now on the Chum Puck. Over. Over? Yeah, I got you on over too. Definitely over. Over so, under six minutes on the, uh, on the on the uh, leading competitor. The other benefits to the chum puck <laughs> over the competitor is ice fishing. We've all tried it ice fishing and if you drop it anywhere near your hole that has a flasher in it you can't see nothing for 15 minutes because of the cloudiness of the water let's say. But with the chum puck you could drop it fairly close to your hole and because of the large bubbles they go directly up so they will not or should not as much hamper your flasher. Guess that depends what kind of flasher you're using too. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> no, we're not starting another debate. Okay. Uh, the other benefit to the chump puck is it can be used in gentle current. 
Because it lasts for such a long time, when you have a current, it washes the scent downstream. And if you look on the right here, our competitor is almost done. So its scent trail in a couple minutes will be gone. I, just, I also want to just let you in on a little thing too. We also have scent in Champak. Oh, definitely. We have an amazing product that we are using right now. And it is UV, it's got real, actual bait fish in it. I can't stress that enough. With our competitor, I have no idea what they're using. I don't think they're using anything for scent, to be honest, but that's just, you know, a hot take. Yeah, we can't smell it, nor stinks to high heaven, so. Uh, scent is important, we just don't feel that predatory fish rely on it for hunting. It's good to keep them in the area, which the scent does leave a trail. Uh, if there is no current, it will make a scent area that you could fish for an extended period of time, even though the puck is gone. The scent will stay in the area, and that is important. But we feel for predatorial fish, it's not as important as the sight aspect. Looking at these big bubbles, they look like bait fish swimming to the surface. Now this is a really cool video as well. But we got something else for these guys, correct? We've got underwater footage from Lake of the Woods. And let me tell you, the, the smallmouth bass absolutely love our product. And it, we have video proof of that. We don't test our product in an aquarium. We're not going to go to Cabela's in Minneapolis and try it out. No, we're, we're going to do it in Lake of the Woods, in the dirty water. And let me tell you, it, it was uh, the results were pretty surprising. Yep, yeah, that video's coming up soon. And like I say, this will be the first of many head-to-head -head competitions. You can see on the right that it is it is singing its last song, but Chumpuck on the left still going strong. I'm not going to lie, I bet you we could probably, you know, if you wanted to get your arm wet, reach in, get that uh, puck out of there, and you could probably dry it off and use it again later if you want. No. I oh, it looks brand new. <laughs> not going to happen. I'm not saying to do it, I'm just saying ours is still brand new. Theirs is dead. See, the other benefit of the chum puck is the puck shape. Uh, it being used in gentle current, when you drop it down, it will not roll away. Uh, I do know some guys that have tried the competitor in gentle current. Uh, they see the bubbles coming up 15 feet away, and then they see them coming up five feet away, and then it's past the boat within two, three minutes. So the shape of the puck is also important as well. And the shape of the puck is what makes the big bubbles. The smaller bubbles accumulate underneath, collect, collect, collect until they get larger and break up from underneath. So that is a huge benefit to the chum puck. Okay, we're at coming up on eight minutes, and I think the competitor is done. Bravo, they did a oh, fantastic job. Nice try, guys. Nice try. Maybe we should get a couple more and drop them down there. It might last as long. You want to? Go through a whole tube. Sure. Why not? That one's done. As we can see here. Let's try another one. That's visually striking. I tell you, I've got some suggestions for our competitor, but I'll leave those to myself. But uh... <laughs> Again, we used it. We thought, you know, it was okay. It's a very good idea, good, but good we figured out. But... I'm not going to lie. We, went, we left the lake a little bit early that day. We were in Balsam Bay, I believe. And no joke, I want to say within an hour of us coming back, we were able to make a product equal to or better than theirs. Really? Are you getting a dart there? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a, it's a long lasting puck, man. Hey, my V1 of the puck was good. Version one was awesome. Right now we're at about recipe uh, 648, but I think we pretty much nailed it. If anyone is wondering, V1 was made with a can of skull. Go grab one.
here we have V1. And let me tell you, when this product makes us a million dollars, I'll be framing this. That was version one, and this is what we got now. I like mine how it's actually like almost the same size as a hockey puck, but hey, whatever <laughs> works. <laughs> so, coming up to 10 minutes into it, the jump puck's still going strong, making big bubbles. Driving fish absolutely crazy. Generating a scent trail, generating a scent pocket. Actually, if you look closely right now, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but our leading competitor is almost done. It's been in the water for what? Two minutes, two and a half, three at the most? Yep. That one was a lot faster. Let's just leave it at that. Ugh. Gotta watch what you buy, guys. We have alpha tested this on Lake Winnipeg mainly throughout the winter and we do not have one negative result uh we had it in a tournament recently in uh i believe that was falcon lake we've been beta testing it with a couple guys uh higher echelon of fishermen in the region and we had one complaint they were catching too many